Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is Jehoshaphat from the Encyclopedia Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. Jehoshaphat, east of Jerusalem between Mount Zion and the Mount of Olives lies the Valley of Jehoshaphat. In the most recent rituals, this word has lost its significance, but in the older ones, it played an important part. There was in reality no such valley in ancient Judea, nor is there any mention of it in scripture except once by the prophet Joel. The name is altogether modern. But as the Hebrew means the judgment of God, and as the prophecy of Joel declared that God would there judge the heathen for their deeds against the Israelites, it came at last to be believed by the Jews, which belief is shared by the Mohammedans, that the valley of Jehoshaphat is to be the place of the last judgment. Hence, it was invested with a peculiar degree of sanctity as a holy place. The idea was borrowed by the Masons of the last century who considered it as the symbol of holy ground. Thus, in the earliest rituals we find this language, where does the lodge stand? Upon holy ground, or the highest hill, or lowest vale, or in the valley of Jehoshaphat, or any other secret place? This reference to the valley of Jehoshaphat as the symbol of the ground floor of the lodge was in this country retained until a very recent period and the expression which alludes to it in the ritual of the second degree has only within a few years past been abandoned. Hutchinson referred to this symbolism when he said that the spiritual lodge was placed in the Valley of Jehoshaphat to imply that the principles of masonry are derived from the knowledge of God and are established in the judgments of the Lord. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment and if you can, Please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.